Welcome back to HomeJoys.net. As I'm sure you were expecting, it's release day of the Galaxy S2, so of course, I've got an unboxing. I've been down to phones for you, which is the only place you can buy it right now. Uh, right now being the 27th of April. <coughs> I think uh, Amazon have it on the website listed as 6th of May for $4.99. Um, I paid 5 9 for this offline. Um, I'm a little disappointed by the price. I'd always sort of thought to myself I wouldn't buy one over £500, but I've been looking forward to the S2 for a long time, uh, more than any other phone really, so what the hell, I treated myself. The box looks much like the original Galaxy S, a bit sort of square perhaps, it actually almost looks a bit smaller which is odd, because it's a bigger device as you can see, the seal is not broken. Things to see off the back there, Super AMOLED Plus, dual core 1.2 gigahertz, 8 megapixel front facing camera, full HD, um, there's a 2 megapixel front facing camera, multi codec so DivX and XVID support which is uh, a big selling point, um, DLNA, oh that would be good, I've got DLNA TVs, and 650 milliamp hours battery. So, the magic moment, so I cut my way in. Now I would also point out this is just an unboxing, it's not a review, it's an unboxing, we'll take a bit of a first look at it as well. Some people get quite upset in the comments, oh, worst review ever, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that feels fantastic. Now I presume the battery is not in, but that feels very light. It does have the slight lip, as you remember perhaps from the Galaxy S, there's the 8 megapixel camera with flash. The small centre button, as with the X, uh, with the Galaxy S, front-facing camera, earphone. Right, let's come back to that in a second. Let's carry on looking at what's in the actual box. Not that I'm all that bothered, to be honest. Okay, it's quite thin and plasticky, like their phones, you might say. Quick start guide. I think I'll cope. So the usual adapter, the usual power point. Earphones. Being Samsung, you'd hope actually might be quite nice. I might try those. There's the actual battery, that's what we need. That's pretty big, I would say, as far as uh, smartphone batteries go. Yeah, so that's a lot. Let's leave cast that aside now. Get rid of that. Now, usually there's about 30%. Uh, battery in these things, so hopefully, oh my god, that is nice. Let me get the battery in though, so I get a proper feel for the weight. I should have perhaps looked at the. I perhaps should have looked at the quick start guide. I had to get it off. I thought it slid, but maybe not. Wow, that is. <laughs> That is thin and plasticky. Luckily, I don't mind that too much. Some people think, oh, it makes it feel cheap. I've, I still say their build quality is very good. You don't get the creaking and groaning you do with some phones. So in the battery goes. Um, yeah, there's the micro SD slot just there. So you can put in whatever you like. And I'm just going to press that back on. Maybe, oh, okay, maybe the bottom in first, perhaps. There we go. I can't believe how thin this is. I don't know if you're really getting a feel for this. It's only, I think, 100, and, let me just double check, I think 119 grams, 116, sorry, which does make it one of the thinnest, especially for this size screen, 4.3 inch screen. The, uh, the HTC equivalent weighs 160 grams. There we go. So it's the same size screen, but oh, what's my maths real quickly? Like two thirds of the weight, and it does. It feels really light, really light. I think I'm in love. How quick was that? My God, first boot. I have to log in for one second. So I've logged into my Google account. Yeah, save your time automatically. My 
card. Now, I'm not a big fan of the TouchWiz interface at all, but for you guys, I'm going to try. It f I'm going to try and use it for a day or two. Um, one of the things you get with Samsung apparently is a whole load of portals, like a games portal, a movie portal. Let's have a look and see if. Um, do I see any of them? Maybe I have to go in. No SIM card, so we need the SIM card. I think it's funny the buttons fade out. They don't rotate or anything, though. No. Um, well, I mean, that's all there is really for a first look. If you want to know anything particular in the review, let me know in the comments below. But all I can tell you, this just seems amazingly quick. I don't know if you can really see how fast that's coming in and out of, of things. Fantastic. Um, oh, I like how the, the desktop sort of shrinks away. Oh, oh look at these ocean weather. Oh, nice. Oh, look at that. And it's still smooth. I don't know how you guys have found it when you put a live wallpaper on your phone. A lot of them slow the phone down. But look at that. The dialer. Loading the news. I think that's just fantastic. Have another look at what other wallpapers there were. So there's windy weather, there's the regular Nexus, the microbes. I really like microbes from, um, well, I think it's on the Nexus S. If you haven't seen it before, you can go and there's like a microbes on your screen, you can dot food down, they come and eat it. Um, but it's so responsive. Look at that. Amazing, what settings do I get? Weather auto update, okay, fair enough. So it's, is it using the real weather, I presume? Oh, that's beautiful. Well, first impressions. Oh, and I love that they do that at the top. I love that from, uh, well, I suppose it was from Samsung, but they use it in the Sanjay mod. So, that's all I've really got for you right now. And I can tell you, oh, I am in love straight away. The Nexus S is going to be sold. Um, it just feels, it feels so light. It feels, it feels light, but to me it feels solid. You know, again, it's not creaking. I think Samsung do a great job with their, even if I try and bend it other ways, there's no creaking or groaning. So anyway, look around the outside, we should look quickly. So there's the power button. There's the jack, isn't back on the top, that's going to be annoying because I've got used to it being on the bottom on the next S. Is that for a lanyard or is that noise cancelling? I don't know. Volume, up and down, micro USB in, the actual microphone, and like I say, the small lip, the speaker there. Samsung's usual lock screen. Oh, this is just fantastic. Oh, there are the hubs, sorry, I was looking all around for them, so... Game Hub. That's textured as well, you, I don't know how well you can see, you can perhaps feel, feel, perhaps hear. Which is good, it sort of gives it a bit more grip, I think. Again, I mean, I've, I feel I've got quite a good grip of that, it's so light. For a 4.3 inch screen is fantastic. Just to give you a comparison, I suppose, next to my Nexus S, look how much more screen real estate there is. It's not that much bigger, really. Goodness, this game's up takes a while. Whatever. And there we are, there uh, 
social games. I mean, you can play them. Well, I'll find out and I'll let you know in the uh, in the review. So there we are. Samsung Galaxy S2, 4.3 inch screen, 1.2 gigahertz dual processor, dual core processor, and oh, yeah, I'm in love. I'm in love. 529 from phones for you, 499 pays you go, but they couldn't do that today, and I wasn't waiting, so I just bought it. My name's Andy, hemadroids.net.